People are what they do in the society in which we live now. 27% think their jobs are going to go away in the next five years. The question is when, not if. The worldwide workforce is disengaged. You know who doesn't get disengaged? A robot. This shift to autonomy is going to create more value than ever. People really expect far too much from it. Our objective is not the human at the end of this pipeline. Economics always wins. All of us are going to be sitting at home with no job, nothing to do. Hasn't happened. We talk about it like the future of work. It should be called the future that works. People are what they do in the society in which we live now. And therefore, the idea of having work taken away from you is devastating. It's worrying. I'm Kat Skeely. I am now running a company called Beep Behavioral Empowerment Enterprise Platform. Our mission is to try and figure out how we can empower the workforce. 87% of the worldwide workforce is disengaged at work. Well, in some ways, our disengagement at work is the motivation and the, and the energy that's driving this conversion to automation, right? Because if I have a disengaged worker that's only effective a certain amount of the time, well, you know who doesn't get disengaged? A robot. I'm Jean-Pierre Lebel. My dream is to be able to get the farmer, the retail, not the wholesale price. We have identity management. We have this thing called blockchain. We have mobile. Where would we put it? I'm a foodie, and I was like, oh, food. It's easy to explain because if you don't have food, you die. So that's how we started AgriLedger. Even if your mission statement is we make money, you didn't need to explain to those who work for you if they weren't there tomorrow, how that would stop you from making money. Then they can make a decision. Is this something I value beyond the paycheck? So there'll be a shift in the way that people work. There'll be a shift in the kind of work that they're doing. But can you 100% trust technology to do anything right? No. So today, machines are automatic in that if I give a machine some instructions, it will follow my instructions blindly, repeatedly, thousands of times, producing something. But if, as soon as we want that machine to produce something new, we have to get expert humans involved to reprogram the machine. So when I think AI, I think any sufficiently advanced software that is able to mimic intelligence. There are certain sets of things that we do that conform to a checklist, best practice, that can be sort of documented and written down and that are the same every time. And those things are being eaten. When we talk about software eating the world or technology eating the world, those things are being ingested and, and taken over. And I don't think anything that we here can do is gonna stop that. 27% of Americans think their jobs are going to go away in the next five years. Many things humans can do, but many things humans cannot do. You and me can do plenty of calculation on paper, but there's kind of a limit to that. All that we should just completely outsource to a machine. Our objective is not necessarily imbued with the human at the end of this pipeline. We maybe don't know that in making it more powerful and accurate, we're doing ourselves a disservice or making ourselves redundant um, at a later stage. This shift to autonomy is going to create more value than ever. You can take the same process and make it output 10 or 100 times more than it could before, but you're leaving a lot of people behind then. And I see this problem is going to happen across many industries. Autonomous vehicles is one of the really obvious ones. I think the industry is realizing just how difficult it is to really pull that off right now, but it will inevitably come. And then you have hundreds of thousands of people, even in, say, America, alone and tens of millions across the globe employed in the largest employing industry on the planet suddenly losing their jobs and having to retrain. So I see an inevitable trend of automation of skilled human roles coming. The question is when, not if. Everybody thinks AI is going to take jobs away. It's like the robots. Remember 20 years ago, robots are going to, you know, robots in factories is going to mean all of us are going to be sitting at home with no job, nothing to do hasn't happened. 
technology does not run itself. You still have to maintain the service. You have to make sure the data is correct. Electricity goes down, you've got to fix it. AI is how you're told what's the best route. This technology is enhancing human intelligence rather than replacing it. And it's something that enables us to achieve more than we're able to achieve today. Humans can analyze the most complex things from a very unique perspective. Trying to emulate that is gonna take a very, very, very long time.